Hello everybody, welcome to the Braid and Tinker knitting channel. Um, so I don't have a lot of time at the moment to record a regular video where I sit down all relaxed and take you through my knitting because I have a kid and it's a summer holiday so instead I thought I would record this sort of how much knitting can I get done in a video in sorry <laughs> how much knitting can I get done in one hour video um, I've seen some other people doing this on YouTube and um, you know I'm always interested to see how much knitting other people can get done and like how fast they knit and I am by no means a fast knitter at all but I just thought it would be a, a fun thing to record. So I'm using my IKEA kitchen timer and I have to say it's a little bit annoying. I really should have gotten a timer with buttons on the front and maybe like a magnet on the back so I could stick it on my cooker. Um, that would have just been much more useful but this is what I have and it has a time and a temperature function as well so it's not too bad. I put a stitch marker in um, where I began so that at the end of this hour uh, we can see um, how far I got. Obviously I sped up this video, this is about four times as fast as regular time because I didn't want this video to be an actually an hour long that would have been super super boring um so instead it's 15 minutes around 15 minutes um but yeah so I'm uh, currently knitting on a sock snake so what I do is uh, cuff to cuff sock snakes so I knit a cuff and then I start knitting the leg of the sock for about like 50, 60 centimeters. It kind of depends on my mood and what size feet I'm knitting for and how much of the sock yarn I actually have. And you know, there's all these variables, but that's about like about half a meter, a bit longer uh, is how much I knit. And then I finish up with the cuff and I try to do like a 20 row cuff, you know, a good, good sizable cuff. Start with the cuff, end of the cuff. And then in the end, you can cut them up in half, put two toes in, and then uh, later on you can put the heels in as well. So I do have a lot of sock yarn in my stash and I want to reduce the size of my stash. That's kind of my goal for this year. I currently have three giant plastic tubs of yarn in my living room and I would really like to reduce that to two tubs before the end of 2021. It's a bit of an optimistic goal, but you know, it, it should be possible. So um, that's what I'm going for. It's, it's kind of helping me not buy yarn at least. So that's a good thing. It's good for my finances. You know, all the money I save, I put into a half of it. I put in my savings account and the other half I put in an investment, an investment account. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my strat money strategy. It's giving you so much good advice here. Anyway, um, <laughs> the yarn I'm using here is uh, Schepje's Invicta Alp Duez, which is a terrible name for <laughs> sock yarn. Um, and it's color six. It doesn't have a colorway name, but I'm calling this the avocado colorway. Um, and even though this is like a commercial sock yarn, it's actually surprisingly soft. So before this sock snake, I was knitting up another sock snake and I think it was from Wisdom Yarns. It had like greys and oranges and it looked really pretty, um, but it was much more coarse than this yarn. This is much softer. Um, I'm not sure how readily available this will be. I think this is something you can get in Europe quite easily. Uh, and it's about six, 
six to seven euros, something like that. I think I paid about seven, a little above like seven twenty-five or something like that. It was in a local, local yarn shop, and you know they're always a little bit more expensive than buying online, um, which I don't mind. But um, so yeah. So what I'm doing is I'm just knitting up these sock snakes and because there there's no pattern, it's just like rounds and rounds and rounds of stockinette. Um, it's really easy, you just put them in a little bag and you just carry it around wherever. And as soon as you have like a minute to sit down, you grab your sock snake. If you have a boring video call at work, you grab your sock snake. If your kid is in the bathtub, grab your sock snake, you know, any moment you can grab it and um, you will actually knit these quite quickly, probably faster than you realize. And um, so my plan is to have a bunch, knit a bunch of these before Christmas so that I can already cut them in half, pop the toes in, and then later in the year when I've decided who the recipient is going to be, I can use these sort of heelless socks to measure out where the heel needs to go. And I can either ask that person to try on the sock, ask for their size, you know, whatever. Maybe it's someone who has a similar size as me and then, you know, there's not much, uh, not much faffing about. And then, you know, whatever happens, and then it will save me so much stress at the end of the year, because all I need to do is pop in the heel and then it's a pair of socks done. Um, so, yeah, so that's kind of what I've been doing. This is my second, because uh, I've only started this like a couple of weeks ago. This is my second sock snake. I have been working on other projects. I'm working on a sock pattern that I want to release somewhere in September. I'm working on a shawl pattern that I would love to release in September, but it's probably going to be more October if I'm going to be realistic because it's going to be quite substantial in size um, but that's going to be like a giant fluffy pretty thing so really happy with how that is coming out um, I just need to put time into it so you might be wondering Melanie if you don't have time to record a video how come you have time to record yourself knitting a sock for an hour and, and that would you know be a really good question the thing is it's getting darker and darker in the evening already i know it's only august but i really wanted to record this during the day um when there is like good daylight and my kid is here so quietly recording during the day is not really an option but recording the video without sound is like no problem. He was actually in the background playing and talking to me the whole time I was doing this. And um, yeah, I'm just recording this audio when he is sleeping. So that works out really well for me. Um, so yeah, I, I think in the end I knitted like not as much as I thought I would. I think I thought I was a bit of a faster knitter. I was also like at the same time I was knitting and I was engaging my child, but I was also um, watching uh, some Netflix in the background. And I do recommend that if you do this, um, you know, make sure you're sitting in a comfortable chair because I've tried this once before on my kitchen chair which is just like a regular Ikea wooden chair. And like after 10 minutes, I was already so uncomfortable. If you do this, you like with no, no like visual sort of entertainment other than looking at your knitting, you're going to realize how long an hour is. It's long. So uh, yeah, definitely need something to watch. Um, and then yeah, get a comfortable chair. Make sure you go to the toilet. Um, I had a tea here. I was drinking some... Oh, what was I drinking? I'm drinking a lot of herbal tea at the moment because I stopped drinking caffeinated drinks. So no coffee, no regular tea, black tea, no green tea, 
no things like Coke or Red Bull, which I didn't drink. I didn't drink sodas anyway. So it's lots of water and herbal teas for me. And I think this is like the um, Bengal Spice by Celestial Seasonings, which is really nice. Very, um, it has a lot of cinnamon in it. So it's a very, very good, strong tea. Um, yeah, so make sure you go to the bathroom beforehand. And if you have a tiny bladder, <laughs> just don't drink. Because <laughs> it's, uh, it's, um, yeah, it'll get uncomfortable after an hour of doing this. Um, anyway, I think that's it. Uh, just enjoy the last minutes of this and um, see how far I get and be amazed at how not much I've actually knit in in like an entire hour. Um, and I hope to speak to you all later and have a little bit more time for a relaxed, regular video where I update you on all my knitting projects. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. That really, really helps me out in getting my videos out there and, you know, getting slightly less ignored by the YouTube algorithm because that would be great at the end of the day. You know, I do put time into making these videos and it's, it's always good if they actually get seen by people. Um, let me know in the comments what you think uh, of this type of video. And, you know, have you ever tried something like this? Have you ever tried recording yourself knitting? Have you ever tried timing how much you knit in an hour? Have you ever knit sock snakes? Um, I posted that question on, on Instagram last week and there's actually surprising lots of people were knitting like this as well. M mostly because it's just easy and it uses up a lot of your um, sock yarn. Anyway, thanks again for watching and I'll speak to you all later. Bye!